What's going on, y'all? So What's cool on y'all? So we are back again for another episode review of The Oval. This is season three, episode 13, Tragic Monologues, okay? This episode was a mess, all right? And the main person who was the mess was Victoria, okay? Because my goodness, my goodness. Like, mama couldn't even muster up. <laughs> oh, and you know that it's really some women, it's really some parents out there like this who really don't give a damn about their kids. Because she almost had me. She almost had me. Like, girl, anyway, the episode starts off where it left off last week with um, Jason jumping over the thing. Now, mind you, I'm thinking he jumped into, like, an awning or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, it was probably a couple of feet or whatever. You know, just seeking some attention or just trying to escape or whatever and run around. Girl, no. It was some stories and he jumped right on top of uh Max and um Bobby's goddamn car with Cal in it. Okay, imagine Cal was knocked out. He was asleep. And then all of a sudden, boom. Oh my god, oh my god. Who's that? What's, what the fuck is going on? I said, Bubba, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Mm -mm. Just go back to sleep, all right? Because you're not about to get out of this just this yet. Okay. Baby, that boy fell back first on his right on his back on top of that car. I said, ooh. Now, if he make it out of this, I'm going to be mad, okay? Like, I'm going to really be mad. Get rid of the kids at this point because after what happened on this episode, we don't need the kids no more. Y'all already got rid of Gail. You can get rid of Jason too, okay? Because his services are no longer needed. Truth be told, they really wasn't needed in the first place, but, you know, we can get rid of them now, okay? So, they went on ahead. Sam come out there. You know Sam. Now, on the one hand, I like Sam for the most part, besides the fact that he turned into a bad guy in my eyes slightly because he fell to the temptations of his um boss, a.k.a. Victoria. And I'm sitting here like, why would you do that? Why would you do that to Priscilla? You know, and we want to blame Priscilla because Priscilla wasn't giving him no sex or whatever. But at the same time, Y'all should literally just sit down and talk about these things. And you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't cheat. That shouldn't be a reason why you cheat. You know what I'm saying? Like, with your boss, with this bitch that your wife got to see every damn day. And she got power over her. Girl, no, Sam, okay? And I'm sitting here like, Sam, let this one go. Let this one go, okay? You know? uh, Because he saw Cal up in the truck. Cal was like, get me the fuck up out of here. It was like, no. Take him to the brig, okay? You know, take him to the little uh, storage room jail that they got down in the White House. Because he was like, take these handcuffs off of me. Nah, we ain't finna take the handcuffs off. Okay, because oh boy that was um supposed to have been watching Jason, he up there talking about how, uh, uh, what is he up in here for? What's going on with him? Why he there? I said, listen, mind your business. Me and Sam was like, just mind your business. Go find the medic, okay? Go find the medic. Meanwhile, while all of this is going on, the um VP... He's still up there saying what they got. Oh, yeah, we got evidence. We got this. We got that. This is what's going to happen. We invoking the 25th Amendment. And then, of course, they get confronted by um, uh, 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 Hunter and Victoria. Okay, listen. <laughs> At this point, I'm not going to say that they scared of them because they did what they had to do. But I'm scared for them, okay? Because after looking at this episode and how conniving, I'm more so scared for them, not because of Hunter, but because Victoria. Victoria is the cruelest one in this whole episode, this whole series, all right? Hunter, he likes to think he got some power, he can do something, but it's Victoria the one that's going to actually do it. Like, bitch, if you was to give something to Victoria and tell her to chop it off, she would do it with no hesitation, okay? Pull that. She will pull that trigger with no hesitation, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's whoever it is, okay? And, um, of course, Max is gloating about it or whatever. Uh, yeah, we got Kyle and all this stuff. And we got you. And, oh, you want to be by the book and all that. Okay, fine. Let's fast forward from that. Victoria was having a little conversation with Miss VP, first lady, right? Second lady, right? And, um, you know, she was like, we want to go into the first, uh, to the, to, to the, over office and talk about this. It was like, no, we ain't finna talk about shit, okay? It is what it is. We about to get your ass out of here and um, ain't nothing to talk about. Baby, Victoria gonna look at um second lady and was like, and you lying bitch. You lied dead to my face and told me that you ain't no shit. She said, no, bitch, why would I? Come on, think about it, lady. 
Why the fuck would I tell you anything? I said, thank you, Victoria. You really thought that you was going to get the tea? Okay? And she was like, you ain't nothing but a rude, venomous, petulant ass bitch. I said, ooh, y'all trying to throw words. I said, Tyler, y'all was looking up in the dictionary. <laughs> y'all was up at the source. <laughs> I said, I said, come through, uh, second lady. You better tell Victoria about herself, even though it don't matter, because Victoria already know that, and them words be bouncing off of her, like, bing, bing, bing. What's good? Tell me something else, okay? I've heard this all my life, and I've accepted it. I call myself that. I said, oh. So they really think that they're going to get this shit done. Meanwhile, Sam had came up in there with this whole situation that was going on. Sam come up in there trying to tell them what's going on. Let me just, this is what I don't like, Okay. Sam, excuse me, first lady, president, not now, but excuse me, first lady, not now. Okay. You see how long that pause was both times? This is present. This is pressing business, okay? Somebody's child could possibly be dead. A person could possibly be dead on the White House grounds, okay? And... You are literally just going to stand there and just say, okay, fine. <laughs> it wasn't no urgency or anything. Like he, I said, Sam, you be talking too damn slow. Okay. You should have came in guns. Were, I know y'all talking or whatever, but your son just jumped off the goddamn roof. That's how you should have got that out. In a couple of seconds, you could have got the whole thing out when you paused. Okay. So he had to tell Donald and I'm sitting here like, cause at first Donald didn't want to hear the shit either. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? All right. So now she got to tell him, uh, uh, well, I should say Donald got to tell him what's going on and, and, and cause they was talking up in the oval and, um, of course, you know, they trying to cuss out the VP and, and, and his wife or whatever, and they not trying to hear it. Okay. Donald didn't shut uh well, I should say Hunter didn't shut Donald down. And, and I'm just like, Oh my goodness, this, 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 this is crazy. So when they finally leave, you know, Donald finally tell Hunter what's going on. Mind you, Victoria found out before they came into the Oval. Okay. And she was like, and, eh? you know, and so when Hunter finds out, Hunter is pissed. He's like, why didn't you tell me this sooner? Okay. Donald said, well, listen, bro, I tried to tell you, you told me to shut the fuck up. So I did what you said. Okay. It was like, you know, and Victoria was like, yeah, and you ain't say nothing. Hell no, what the fuck you think I'm going to do? What it's going to do to me? I said, you know what? <laughs> I just said, you really don't care about your son at all. Am I supposed to? <laughs> I said, what is happening? What is happening? Like, God damn. You know, usually when people don't care about their kid or at least put out the perception that they don't care about a family member or whatever. And when something bad like this happened, you know, uh, they get hurt or they get sick or they um die. All of a sudden, those emotions that been buried, they come up to the surface and they be like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. You know, not Victoria. OK, at this point. Hunter going to the hospital. Victoria said a simple the press conference, okay? Hunt, uh, um, um, Donna said, ma'am, do you really think that that's what we need to do? And I don't think that's why. She said, I don't give a fuck, okay? This is what I'm going to do. I said, Donald, don't even try to debate the lady. Just go ahead and do it, okay? Meanwhile, Bobby and Max come around Sam. Of course, Max is trying to figure out where Cal at. I said, Cal is locked up. He's not getting out, you know, and no, they are not going to give him to you like that, okay? So calm it down, Max. You will get your turn to get at him, but it just will not be now. Meanwhile, you got Priscilla going over to the fancy house. Oh, Nancy house, okay? Nancy like, hey, girl, what's going on? So what, why, why am I here, um, Nancy? I said, you already know why you here, Richard told you to go over there to talk to her. So why are you asking her why you here? I said the continuity in the scripts, okay? Because another flaw came up later on, and I'm I'm gonna get to it. Um, cause I pay attention, bitch. Okay, see Tyler, this is why you need me on the team. Okay, you want me to to, to you need somebody to just watch the shit. So when you go and write the shit again, you won't be contradicting yourself with what you already wrote before so it can flow a little better so you don't have a person like me that'll catch it and be like, well, no, that's not what happened. That's not what you wrote for the other season to get... You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting here like, um... Miss Girl, 
Yo, uh, Richard told you to go sit there and talk to her about everything that was going on. Okay, so Nancy's saying, girl, what's going on? Like, what's really good? Is it really that bad up there? Like, that lady is a bitch, okay? I can't stand that bitch. She fucked around with my husband. Then I got a, th she's throwing it all up in my face, okay? Like, she is terrible. Girl, is she really that bad? Girl, yes, okay? You still got to come up there? You got to cook for her? Yeah, I, I ain't cooking for her now, okay? Because I don't trust myself around her and bitches. She don't trust me around her either. Nor do she trust herself around me. And then she had the nerve to have me sit down and eat with her. Like, it's these mind games that she's trying to play. But, baby, I play them better. Girl, for real? Yes, okay? Why don't you just take some time off? I'm not finna give her the satisfaction of taking the time off. No, that's not what's about to happen up in here. What am I gonna do with the time off? Sit around and do nothing just like you? Be like you? Baby, I said, ooh, Priscilla, come Damn. I said, Priscilla, you ain't have to hit Nancy like that with them words because Nancy caught that shit. She was like, what, sit down in the house and do nothing all day like you? Nancy was like, damn. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so sorry. She was like, I didn't mean it. She was like, you meant it. You meant it, but do you really think that I don't do shit? I sit home and I don't just sit home, okay? I take care of home and I take care of my husband. I said... Pretty boring to me, but all right. <laughs> that sounds like nothing to me. Somebody going to be like, it takes a lot to take care of a household. Shut up. But I'm just saying, okay? I can never, even if I, I just could never be a house husband or a housewife or a, 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 a house husband. Okay? I could never do it. I could never do it. I would have to get the fuck up and go out and do something. I just, I just, more power to the women and the men that like to do that. It's just not in my repertoire and not in my DNA, okay? You know, maybe if I get older and age, even when I retire, I'm going to be like, no, baby, we still got to get out and go do something, okay? Because we can just chill up in the house whatever. And so they just talking, and of course, Priscilla just leaves, right? They say, you know, Sam is in the operation room, and then, uh, 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 what's gonna call it? uh... Richard coming there to talk to him. And I was like, so did you talk to him about, did you figure out the whole stuff about the, um, what Sharon said? He was like, yeah, yeah. You know, after they discussed the fact that Jason jumped off the roof. And he was like, yeah, I told, um, the chief of staff about the whole situation with Sharon. And then Richard was like, damn, shit. And he was like, what? Oh, he ain't on it. And he ain't on it too. Okay. I I'm just telling you. And he goes, Sam, I kind of felt that. Okay. Mind you, when the VP... And um, the first lady and them was talking or whatever. And Sam came up there. And when they was about to walk away to go to the Oval, Donald tried to trip them up and be like, so you you included Sam on this whole thing too. VP was like, no, hell no. Okay, so he was up in your office. And then the uh, his wife was like, he know our kids, okay? That's what we were talking about. And it's because Donald um, um, Hunter had questioned him about that. And it was like, no, I was just trying to see if something checks out. And it checked out. I said, oh, when I tell you they kept that story together, I said, oh, that's how you do it, okay? That is how you do it quick. Just like that, you got to be quick with it, okay? You know, so we can keep the story going, all right? Um, meanwhile, um... They got to talk about that whole thing. And, you know, that's what's going on. They talk about that, okay? Sam and... um. Richard about the whole situation with Sharon. So, meanwhile, we move over to Alan. This is the part that got me that I'm telling you, okay? Because y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but my memory is kind of clear on this because I remember this vividly, okay? Um, <clears throat> Alonzo comes over. Now, let me tell you something. Everybody ain't gay. But they gave me they gave me a little touchy-feely type of vibe, okay? I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just me. But it just gave me, like, you want me to um, jerk you off for a second to make you feel better? That's what they gave me, okay? That's what Alonzo gave me when he came in there. I don't know. It was just me. I don't know. It probably was just me. It just gave me that vibe. It just gave me that vibe for a little second, okay? But he over there... Um, and Alonzo, I just don't understand. You work in this White House, okay? You see what's going on, right? You see what's going on. You heard Jason said, this is what happened. You've seen how he is. You've seen him touch yourself. You've seen the stuff that he's done to you. You've seen how the First Lady literally is. The First Lady literally told you to punch that boy right in front of her. And even if he do anything else, you have the right to touch him. You have the right to knock him out if you want, okay? So, so why is it so hard for you to believe that Alan is saying about the first lady having something to do with the death of his girl? 
Why is this so hard? Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. She was he was like, Ellie is fucking Hunter. Okay? She he, she was fucking him. You don't know that. You don't know that. What makes you say that? Because she told me. And I'm sitting here like, okay, and it was like, no, but 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 that that's not true though. That's not true. How do you know that's true though? How do you know what she's saying is true? Because that's what she said. And the whole time I'm waiting for him to say, because I saw it with my own eyes. Because y'all remember when they brought him to the door. I think it was even Victoria. One of them opened up the door. Either Victoria, Donna, or somebody opened up the door. And he saw Ellie literally riding his lap. And then they stopped for a second. And Hunter made her continue. He, he never told her to get off of him. And I'm like, why wouldn't he just say that? And so at this point, you know, Alonzo was like... <laughs> Plus, you know, um, um, Alan said, yeah, she called me and all this stuff or whatever right after it happened or right before it happened. And it was like, I think it was the son. Because, you know, he crazy. He admitted to killing this person and doing this and doing that, you know. But you saw the uh, press conference or whatever. Yeah, the VP trying to come for him. But they got it all wrong. They got it all wrong or whatever because, um, you know, uh, it was the son that admitted to me that he did all of this stuff. Yeah, the, the, the stuff happened, but the son did it. The son did it. And I'm sitting here like, yeah, you're correct. But still, it's the fact that this 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 is up there. Why th th this is circulating around and why can't you believe what he's saying? I'm sitting here like, why didn't he put in there that he saw them fucking? So I just didn't understand that. Mind you, um, they said, baby, they got a list growing, they got witnesses, and uh Max and Bobby, one of them, and <laughs> and also Donald's wife, Lily. <laughs> Donald was like, huh? Oh, and then they said, yeah, Cal didn't do a good job. I <laughs> said, what? <laughs> and then Alonzo and, and, and Alan, just, Alonzo was like, come on, let's just drink. I'll pour you one, okay? So he sit down, and I'm thinking at the phone for the ring that's going to be some proof that, 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 that shows, you know, that's good enough for Alonzo. They sitting on the couch just drinking, and I don't know the way that they were sitting... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't gonna put that out there in the atmosphere, but that's what it was, okay? Meanwhile, back at the pharmacy, we get Kareem trying to lock up and Sharon and Dale all up on his tip or whatever, and he trying to understand why y'all just so close to me, okay? Y'all so underneath me. Y'all want to follow me everywhere, whatever. So they just shook a little bit. And Dale was like, might as well just go ahead and tell him what's good, okay? Sharon was like, no, I can't tell him. No, just tell him. And at this point, here come Richard, okay? Richard want to take Sharon outside, and I didn't like and appreciate the way that Kareem responded when he saw Rich going to say some store clothes. I'm sitting here like, you know something going on with Sharon. Sharon came over to his house and you saw how that whole thing interacted where y'all had to take your clothes off. Y'all had to write on notes and stuff like that and take your phones. Why are you acting like this? I get that you don't fuck with Barry, but Richard never done nothing. Richard has been trying to be nice. <laughs> the only one that's kind of accepting this whole thing, okay? Because... Truth be told, Richard, he ain't doing enough for me because if that's my son and, and this bitch then came in and hurt him like this by going to his going back to her ex and all this shit, I would have fucked him up, okay? That's what would have happened. Or he would have got cussed out or he would have got hands put on him every time I seen him because what you're not going to do is make my son... See, these parents, these parents on here ain't doing it right, okay? They are making me mad and I like Richard, but boy, here comes Barry. He's like Sharon up there trying to talk to him. She, he was like, I told them what's going on. They said they're going to look into it. Girl, I hear a car. I said, is somebody going to come up and pull pull up on them or something like is Is Cal coming? No, it's Barry. Barry come up in there with his gray sweats. I said, now, sir, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Baby, I noticed everything, okay? I said, now, why you got on gray sweats? Why you got on that thought well like that, okay? Because you thought that you was going to get Sharon to come back to the house with you. Listen, this about Sharon, right? It's the president with Sharon, right? He tried to touch you, right? Because, listen, I'm just saying, whoever he sent up there, that dude he sent up there to um Denise store, she, he got her, and she, I ain't never seen her ever since, okay? And that's the you know she did, okay? I'm just saying, I'm putting it together. Two plus two is even four up in my face right about now. Richard was like, okay, cool, you know some stuff, but you don't need to know nothing because you're not supposed to be privy to this information because it's getting tricky, okay? It's getting fucked up, and you don't need to be involved. He was like, Sharon, I need you to come home with me. No, I'm serious because I still love you, and I need to protect you. I can do, I can protect you more than he can. I said, now, come on, Corinne. Uh, 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 now, see, listen, Barry, you almost had me call you Corinne. Now, how the hell are you going to protect her more than uh, Corinne? Okay, truth be told, neither one of y'all can protect her in this situation. 
neither one of y'all can protect her in this situation. So what are you talking about? Okay, take your ass home. You are going to make it worse. And then here comes Kareem. Everything going okay? I said, go back in there. Go back in there. Baby, but this is what got me at the end of this episode. The first lady was sitting up in that office. And she was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Damn, okay, I can't do it. <laughs> Shit, I'm trying to make it seem like I care about this little motherfucker. What the fuck? <laughs> if that okay with me, I said, I know this bitch ain't trying to act like, trying to practice her craft face. <laughs> Donna came over there. It's like, ma'am, do you want to know what's going on? Just like, listen, listen, Donald, Donald, look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> How do I look? How do I look? Do I look sad? No, you look angry. And she was like, damn. Like, I'm trying to have, what that word that they these people be having? What is it like? What, empathy? Dead, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to have that, but shit, I wish I could cry. I can't cry. You know what? That little motherfucker really jumped off the roof. <laughs> Did he take a red bull? Did that motherfucker think that he could fly? Did he get wings or something? Oh. <laughs> I said, excuse me? <laughs> that bitch, I'm laughing because she was laughing. And I was just like, I'm laughing because, oh my goodness, like really, I knew Victoria was a bitch. But goddamn. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your son, but see, he ain't my son. Okay, that's your son. So, at least show a little bit of, you know, I did carry the little motherfucker for us nine months or whatever. So, I do have just a little bit of, oh, my baby might be gone type of situation. No, I'm thinking like, and then, then she go into this whole story about teaching him about, talking to him about the Wizard of Oz and, you know, how he, how she wish she needed to see the wizard to make her cry and all this stuff. Because, I mean, she was just cracking up to the point that Donald said, you need some help, okay? Maybe we need to get your uh, son's doctor up in here to talk to your ass, okay? Because this ain't it. This is a little scared. And she just kept laughing. And I thought it was going to be one of those, I'm laughing to the point where I can't, to keep from crying. Or one of those, I'm laughing and then it's going to turn into tears. Because then at one point she said, oh my God, I'm crying. Okay, I got tears coming out my eyes and not because I'm sad, but because I'm laughing. This is for the wrong reason. I said, what? And she was just laughing the whole time. I said, this is some bull. This is psychotic, okay? This is some psychotic shit. And I know there are some women who give birth to kids and they feel no connection to them. They literally feel no connection to them. But this is on a whole nother level. Bobby and Max go over there to talk, go back to the hotel, you know, reassuring uh, Lily that everything is okay. Listen, Lily, girl, you was right. You was right when you said this shit ain't going to stop until old boy is gone. Like he gone, gone, okay? Six feet under gone. Probably at the bottom of an ocean gone, you know? And, um, you know, she went over there kind of, I thought, I was like, now in the midst of us about to, we in a crisis and y'all out the fuck. Because the way she came up and got on, I said, what we about to do, Lily? I bet you make it good, okay? Because you've been throwing, you've been showing thigh and throwing a little titty here and there. You know, make it good if that's what y'all going to do. But moving on from that, let's just get to the end of the episode, baby. They was like, man, the press conference is downstairs waiting on you, okay? And so, <laughs> they get to the press conference, everybody looking at it. <laughs> Donald asked, um, um, um. Victoria, you gonna tell me what you uh gonna say? She said, now if I wanted to tell you what I was gonna say, I would have been told you, right? Okay. So she got up there and she talking about how her son is in the hospital. And I just felt like, you know, I knew something was wrong with him. But I just didn't want to see it. And it's true, it's true what the VP was saying. There has been some things that happened on here, some scandals, but it was at the hand of our son. You know, my, my, my I, I like to go shopping and I visited this woman's boutique and I took my son with me because that's what we like to do together, you know. Mother do uh, mother son things, you know. And uh, he took a liking to the lady and, you know, he went back and he attacked her, you know what I'm saying? And he also attacked Jean and, 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 and it did end up in a murder. I know I, I just should have got myself some help, and I just, oh my god, oh my god, I said, bitch, 
<laughs> I said, Victoria, your sugar dropped real quick and made you faint, huh? <laughs> I said, girl, give her a razzy, okay? Because you won't deserve no Oscar because I saw right through that shit. VP and um, uh, second lady and... Um, <clears throat> Second lady at uh, VP said that. And I was like, uh, is they going to be able to, this going to fly? He was like, I don't even know. I said, damn, bitch. And I'm sitting there looking at Alonzo like, now you see how cold-hearted that she is? She wouldn't even take her for her son. She put all that shit on him, okay? She put all that shit on him. I mean, technically speaking, he did do it. But you put him on blast like that to save your ass, okay? Baby. That was the oval. Victoria is a goddamn mess. I gotta go, okay? I will see y'all later. <laughs> I needed that laugh. I'll see y'all later. Peace.